Well, it could have a significant impact on the campaign because the Liberals were counting on the fact that they would be able to stand up as the party of tolerance and inclusion and equity. And they were really catching Andrew Scheer every time he was going across the country with his individual candidates on this question. So now all of a sudden it starts to become a little more difficult for them to do that. Uh, and uh, as a result, they're going to have to find a new way to go after the Conservatives. Well, where it starts to get very interesting is to see how the three main parties are going to interac interact on this. So the, the Liberals, Conservatives and the NDP. Um, the Conservatives have really tried to make this campaign about economics. So this is not the, the debate for them. The real interesting debate now starts to emerge between Jagmeet Singh, the leader of the NDP, and Justin Trudeau, the leader of the Liberal Party. Uh, and we have already seen what Mr. Singh has had to say about this issue. They're going to be coming together on a debate stage in the very near future. And I'm sure Mr. Singh will be pressing this point very hard. Andrew Scheer, on the other side, on the other hand, probably can just stand back and watch this. Well, there's, there's two parties that the Liberal Party vote could probably go to if, if people become disaffected. The first one is to the NDP. And all of the polling that we've been doing for Global shows that for progressive voters, the NDP is a good compromise choice. They're the second choice for the Greens. They're definitely the second choice for the Liberals. But the other party that could have a really big effect on this is one that not a lot of people are talking about. And it's what I like to call the apathy party. And that's people who showed up last time around for Justin Trudeau in the election, who increased turnout from 2011 from 60% up to 68%. If those people don't show up, and they tend to be younger, multicultural, newer Canadians, if those people don't show up with the same kind of energy for Justin Trudeau and the Liberals this time, and they decide to vote for the apathy party, in other words, stay home, that's also a big problem for the Liberals. It's very unusual for an event like this to come into a campaign and completely disrupt the major brand of a political leader. I mean, there's been examples, most of them we can probably point to in the United States, but uh, I think we're into uncharted waters for Mr. Trudeau. This speaks directly to the message that he's been selling to Canadians for the entire time that he's been in politics. And, uh, you know, today he's tried to apologize for it. We'll see if it's enough.